Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This isn't my home. What? Sleep well. Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Grelod? Is that what this is about? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage? Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. Hmm. Really? A problem? I can't imagine. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Must I now? Just because you didn't arrive in time... You're going to place the blame on me. <laughs> You're just so smug and overconfident. So what is it that you want me to murder someone else? Do you realize that I'm a vigilant of Stendar? And if they are innocent, I will not do it. So tell me, who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. <laughs> that's what matters. The here and now. Mm. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. What are you up to? Seriously? You've captured three civilians and you expect me to kill them. There's something else that you may not be aware of. Astrid, I believe your name is. There is a contract. Maybe it's one of those three. But there's also one. On you. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Well done. Yes. I figured it out. All right. Oh, look at this. The Blade of Woe. I'm sure Orion would like to display this. And look. Brotherhood Armor. All right, people. 
Come now, my friend. Haven't we played this game? Ah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Hm. Let's the two of us just forget we ever met. Hmm? Yes, let's. You cut these fine. Well, it's about damn time. Capturing a woman from her home, keeping her bound like an animal. Ridiculous. You do realize I had nothing to do with this. I was a captive, just as much as you were. Please. Please, really. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never speak of this to anyone. I promise. Listen, I'm not with the Dark Brotherhood, but they have been destroyed. Oh no, my transparency is starting to take hold. Let me take one of my potions. There. Back to normal. I have to keep feeding myself these potions to stay that way. Alright, come on, let's get out of here. Can't believe I was taken from my bed. Alright, let me go ahead and gather these plants to continue with my alchemy studies. Alright, I think we've already yes, discovered that sky shard. Oh, Atar! You found me. All right, you must have used prayer to Stendar. All right, let me get a few more of these. All right, let's see if we can get back to White Run. Your help, I don't have my arm. Atom, where are you? This poison tree's flower summons a poison tree spriggan. A poison explosion. A spriggan head summons a poison tree. All right. I'll leave this for some other adventurer. Okay. I think we're out of danger. Let's see if we can get back to White Run now. I've oh, been looking for you. What? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. 
It must Looks be like Constance. That's it. Got to go. Things change very quickly. Sometimes. All right, let me just check out this note. Consider adoption. In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor. I can't make this out. Oh, poverty and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or to take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. Well, isn't this amazing? What can I do for you, friend? Destroying Grillad has opened a new door for those poor orphans. I'm still here. It certainly was the right thing to do. Praise Stendar. All right, let me get back in the house and get my armor. Can't believe I've been taken from my very bed, drugged and taken from my bed. I guess you must have been drugged too, as well as Lydia. Can I help you? All right. All right, excuse me while I go upstairs and change. All right. And I am suffering again from the transparency. Light passing you, through friend? me. I may be solid, but if you look at me correctly, you can see right through me. All right, let me take another potion. All right, there we are. All right, Atar. Let's see, what is it we need to do now? We need to report Astrid's death to a guard. Is it any guard? It's a veteran. Where are the guards when you need them? What if I was a defenseless citizen being chased or attacked? What about you, guard? The Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. They're an ancient order. I had them figured for dead. Hmm, I see. I'm here to inform you that I killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. You did what? Yes. By the gods, you're serious. Yes, I am. You'd better report this to Commander Mero right away. He's at the Penitus Oculatus outpost, up in Dragon Bridge. All right, then. All right. Uh, I don't see Atar, but I did see this purple mountain flower. All right, off to Dragon Bridge. This is nice hearing the the roosters and pigs and whatnot. A nice farm town. This is a you know the quiet life that people should be able to live. All right, let's go in here and speak with Commander Morrow. Commander, I'm Vigilant Zach Kwan. Yes. A guard told me to come and tell you that I killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. The leader of the Dark Brotherhood? You mean Astrid? Yes, Astrid. Dead? Yes, dead. This is no jest? No jest. Ha! Huh. 
This is a stroke of good fortune. Long have I watched the Dark Brotherhood's movement, waiting for the time to strike. That time is now. My agents have recently acquired the passphrase to their sanctuary. It is. Silence, my brother. Every assassin in that hole must be put down. <laughs> you, my friend. You've slain their leader. This honor should be yours. Do this, and you will be rewarded most handsomely. All right, appreciated. And Stendar approves. We have a chance to destroy the Dark Brotherhood forever. It's all up to you. Very well. Are you up to this, Vigilant? Then let's go. I think the two of us should be able to handle it with Stendar's might at our side. Can I help you? We could, of course, call for more Vigilant. But I don't want to frighten the nearby populace by waging an all-out war with the Dark Brotherhood. All right, let's go. All right, it's somewhere in this area. Oh, Hunter's camp, I wonder if he was killed by the Dark Brotherhood. Come on, down this way. I do apologize, Atar, but it would really mean a lot to me to get my mastery in alchemy. First with prayer. Mighty Stendar, give your humble servants the might to slay these evil Sithis worshippers. All right. I'm going to be using the Morning Star of Dawn. And I think I'll just use a standard shield. Should be enough. Alright, see, I'm already becoming transparent, but that's alright. Here we go. was forbidden to enter. Very well then, it looks like it's up to me. Yes, it does. It's the morning star of dawn. All right, look at this. An ebony battle axe of power unleashed. Huh. 
suppose I can carry these things out of here. Oh, and look. An unusual gem. Alright, he's just but the first. Let me stand ready for others. Let me also make sure that I'm getting all of the souvenirs that I can. This is a momentous occasion, destroying the Dark Brotherhood. Look at this, shrouded robes, a shrouded hood, a shrouded cowl mask, hand wraps, and shoes. Aha is right. Invisible, huh? Not going to help you. Alright, we'll take this. Ah, here's more armor. Interesting place. How often do they have a adversary just strolling through their headquarters? Casually. Uh-oh, I think someone spotted me. But look at this, there's a word wall hidden here. Leech marked for death. Is this a spider? Really? <laughs> it was destroyed with one bash of my shield. All right, so. Who would have thought that coming here to the Dark Brotherhood headquarters would give me access to a word of power? Hello. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Since I believe that she might be a vampire. But there's more of these clothes. Right, we can put these on display and also study them. I might be able to learn their enchantments. Well, let's see. Do I know them all? I do. Alright. So we'll just put them on display then. I can't believe I'm just strolling through here casually, killing the Dark Brotherhood. Have I become that powerful? Now you're mine. Who? A Red Guard. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm 
sorry it had to come to this. It's a wonder they were able to kill anyone. They're such easy targets. this. Gregor? This? Who are you? Ah, no one of any consequence any longer. My name is Gregor. I was once a vital young assassin of the Dark Brotherhood. Like yourself. Me? Not with the Dark Brotherhood. Answering the call of Sith. Of course you are. <laughs> Careful. Now I spend my days and nights here, awaiting my eternal embrace from the Night Mother. I do have one final piece of knowledge left to impart. If you would bear it, it brings with it great power and a great curse. What? I would hear more. I have been the keeper of a relic known as the Hand of Glory. I've heard of it. The better part of my late life. And what is the Hand of Glory? The Hand of Glory is a dark relic, sought by all thieves and assassins who know of its name. <coughs> the Hand is much what it sounds like. A severed hand, cleaved from the body of a wrongfully hung man. The hand itself possesses a great curse. A curse? The will of the hanged man imposes itself on the hand, to grasp futilely for revenge for his missed death. <laughs> missed, missed death, that's a new one. Alright, so why would I want a cursed hand that is trying to kill me? The idle hand is given a task. To bear the light of another soul wrongfully committed to death. This light comes by way of a candle. Itself formed from the remains of one wrongfully condemned. So long as the hand has the candle to bear. <coughs> its powers will give the holder great boons. And not seek to demise the bearer. I see. But what would I gain from it? Any who have crafted and bear the hand of glory from the hanged man's hand will be rendered invisible, as well as become a master of the arts of finesse. And light shall ever be cast upon their path. However, powers are draining and tax the holder's vitality, magic, and well-being. And if the candle ever burns out entirely... <coughs> My, by the divines. The bearer of the hand of glory will perish along with the flame. And their what? soul lost to oblivion. <laughs> Why would I want something like that? The boon is no mere small enchantment, my friend. Your skills of Ledger Dimion and Skullduggery would make the legendary Grey Fox's skill look like that of an infant Gwar. <laughs> All right, well, as amazing as that sounds, why would you give it up? The fire of my candle is nearly gone. <laughs> no kidding. And I must pass the hand for another to bear if I am to be taken into the Night Mother's internal embrace. Were you to take this burden... I would not say to do so lightly, and in crafting the Hand of Glory, use it sparingly, if at all. Hmm. No, I'm not doing this. But there, I'll send you personally into the embrace of the Night Mother. Stendar, have mercy upon you.
there might be someone else in here. Yes, there is. Someone there? I'm sorry, but Stendar demands that you be destroyed. All right, I think I have enough of these. Well, I can, I can still carry a few more. Look at this. This is a quite a nice looking window. All right. Seems like that's all of them. Can I? Huh? Hey! Hey. So, the door wouldn't let you in. That's interesting. But it's done. I've destroyed the Dark Brotherhood. All right, we have one more conversation to have with Commander Morrow. Let's go. Commander, you're still awake. You must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. By all I hold holy, can it be true? Have you actually done it? This is a great day, my friend. You have struck a blow against darkness that will not soon be forgotten. Here. As promised, a most generous reward. Okay, 3,000 gold. That's very acceptable. I'll make acceptable. sure the Emperor himself hears of all you've accomplished. <laughs> you've made Skyrim a better place. Well, it's very humbling of you to say, Commander. I'll all make right. sure the Emperor himself hears of all you've accomplished. You've made Skyrim a better place. I must say that the We've armor stopped. that the it? Penitus Oculatus is wearing is, is quite nice. I wonder if they would offer a Can I set. help you? Would be nice to show it in the uh, Dragonborn Gallery. All right, well, maybe for another time. All right, um, Atar. I'm sorry you missed out on the fun, but the Dark Brotherhood has been destroyed. It's time for us to move on to other matters. Let's go. Greetings. I bring word to you from Emperor Titus Mede himself. Greetings. I bring word to you from Emperor Titus Mede himself. Mede? After your defeat of the Dark Brotherhood, the Emperor was informed of your I thought it was deed. Mead. And Commander Morrow began an investigation. There was going to be a plot on Emperor Mede's life. Mede again. Having thwarted that plot, the Emperor dispatched me to deliver this message and his thanks. His words were, My thanks goes out to you, for you have not only accomplished something that I have been unable to do, but you have also saved the life of an old man. Blessings of the Nine be upon you always, and fair weather always follow in your path, brave hero. He also instructed me to give you this, as his personal thanks. It's a relic of unprecedented value. Guard it well. Gold brand. Well, thank you, messenger. Where did Atar go? Oh, there you are. Let's take a look at this. Gold brand. 
All right, what? Forged by the dragons of the north, Goldbrand lends its wielder the ability to deal fire damage. All right, quite impressive. I think we might be able to display this. Seems like we had a version of Goldbrand earlier. We got it from somewhere. I can't remember where. But all right. That does it. Dark Brotherhood destroyed. It's time for us to move on to other things. Let's go.